Febrile convulsions usually occur as the very first sign of a febrile illness, where the child was previously apparently well. As the first temperature spikes, the seizure occurs, and it's usually only after the convulsion when calm prevails and the temperature has been taken that the connection between the seizure and the convulsion can be made. In many cases, there's a family history of febrile convulsions, but this may not be immediately apparent until later when a direct inquiry is made. Children usually only have one febrile convulsion in their childhood. However, children who are younger at the time of their first convulsion can be at risk of repeated convulsions with later fevers. The management of a febrile convulsion is the same as for any seizure. Supporting the child's airway and placing them in the recovery position as soon as possible is the recommended approach. It's helpful for parents to know that there have been no serious adverse consequences from any child having a febrile convulsion in large population-based studies of febrile convulsions. Febrile convulsions are an age-dependent seizure susceptibility syndrome, where there's a susceptibility to having seizures in a certain age window in childhood. This is usually due to many different susceptibility genes in an individual child. However, in some children, less commonly, it can be a due to a single gene that is faulty. The susceptibility ages between six months and eight years, and once a child is older, febrile convulsions no longer occur.